So today I want to show you a product demonstration of the Chaos 4.2, the newest synth from LAC Synthesizers. The synth is very versatile, uh, there's lots of different vibes you can do, different sounds. Um, it's also very good for live performing, if you're into that sort of thing. This is just a virtual representation in the wonderful program VCV Rack. You can download it yourself, there's a link in the description. Um, but the hardware is already coming out online and in synth stores worldwide. You can see I'm using the MindMeld Patchmaster modules. Uh, you can see all the wiring and everything is down here. Uh, but with that being said, uh, let's get into it. First, I want to uh, grab an audio, sorry, a reverb module. Send this through some reverb. Uh, it's definitely not needed for the Chaos 4.2 to sound good, but reverb is life as they say. Um, here, I'll grab my audio module connect everything up, there we go, you can see I already have sound, it's already running, um, so there we go. So first I want to quickly just go over the output section of the synthesizer, um, of course you have left and right outputs, so stereo, there's a mute button, right, and then a gain slider, never too loud, let's keep this at full. Perfect. So, moving on to the envelope section, you can see there's a four-stage ADSR envelope with all the different stages, so I can already change this, add some release, bit of attack, oh, excuse me, <laughs> that sometimes, and there you go, turn my reverb up, ha. Ah. Beautiful. You can see that all four of these stages also have an attenuverter for the modulation, but we will get into modulation later. Moving on to the sequencer section, you can see there are eight steps. Uh, the Chaos 4.2 will just run through all of these. In hardware, there will be a little light telling you which step it's on, but that's kind of hard to do here, so um, you'll just have to see. But each knob controls the pitch. So you can see if I turn this up, wait for it. There we go. So I can set a nice sequence here. There we go. Listen to that. This is your uh, sequencer section right here, so you've got a clock. It just controls how fast it's going. Get pretty slow. It's pretty fast. Um, in hardware, there will be a button where you can tap the tempo, so you can get this in sync with any of your other instruments. Just leave it here for now. Uh, there's also a length knob, which just controls how many steps it runs through before repeating, so 1 through 8. Let's see, I can set this to 2 here. Nice. I'll go with 6. Nice. Uh, there's also mode. This starts with Ionian on the left and Locrian on the right. It just goes through all the different scale degrees. You can see. And then the root here starts from C on the left, going all the way through the 12 uh, traditional scale degrees to B on the right. Change the root to the scale. Uh, in hardware, there will be lights telling you what mode and root it's in. If you want to know here, you can just scroll down to the quantizer, quantizer section. You can see I'm in uh, G minor right now, G Aeolian. It's perfect. There's also an octave knob goes between minus two all the way up to plus two octaves. So a large range of pitches you can get. There we go. Perfect. And then, of course, there's the chaos knob, what the synth is named after. All the way on the left here, you can see we're getting a completely um, uh, repetitive sequence. And the chaos knob will control how much variation there is. So if I set it all the way to the right here, it's not really consistent at all, see? Just completely random notes. I like to leave it somewhere in the middle here. So you still have that repetitiveness, keeping it anchored, but there's variation, which just makes it sound so much nicer. 
Now we can move on to the filter section. There's three that you can choose between a low pass, a band pass, and a high pass filter. And just use these uh, buttons here to switch. And then of course you have your cutoff, your resonance, and your drive. Turn that up. Drive is good as a secondary volume control if this isn't loud enough with the gain slider all the way up. see that uh, these three controls also have a 10 verse for the LFO, but we will get into that later. So now we can move on to the VCO. There's a simple frequency knob, just changes the starting frequency of everything. Uh, this is very good for if you have other instruments that you want to tune this to. You can do that very easily, I'll just leave it in the middle for now. And then there are four knobs which control the sounds of the VCO. Of course, you have timbre, which goes through a wavetable. You have sine waves on the left and square waves on the right. Just through a, a wavetable to get there. Then you've got saturation. Saturation will, of course, just saturate the audio signals. It's nice. Uh, wave folding, very fun. You have to be a bit careful with it here. That that is fixed in the hardware. Um, it's just maybe it's just the module I chose to use, but it gets a little loud. It sounds very cool. And then there is chorus, my absolute favorite. Listen to this. Uh, you can see that all four of these controls also have attenuators for modulation. Speaking of which, we can get into the LFO section right now. There are two separate LFOs with a frequency and a shape knob. They also have self and cross modulation for each of those controls. Um, and you can see if I turn up, say, the timbre, you can see there will be lights in hardware telling you where the LFO is. But in here, we can just hear it, so you can see I can make this slower. I can make it faster. Add a bit of self-modulation. It's kind of fun. Um, and then the LFO shape takes it through a wavetable again from sine waves on the left. So you can see it's smoother there to square rays on the right. <laughs> self modulation There we go. So you can see now it's jumping around. Move it over here. What I like to do is have this first uh, LFO running at a faster rate for things that I want to change faster, and then the second LFO running much slower for things that I kind of want to drift. Make it a smoother wave as well. Set it all the way over. I like setting the slower LFO, LFO to the release here, so I get alternation between staccato and legato notes. Sounds very nice. Bit of self, bit of cross, bit of self modulation, just for fun. There's a lot of things that just add variance, and maybe it's not something that you can tell right away that it's changing, but it just adds a lot more variance and makes it sound nicer. Just playing with these attenuverters. Maybe I want to change the wave folding slowly. Change the cutoff, maybe. Resonance. Down, maybe. I'll also change the attack if I want. Kind of fun. There we go. So, that is all the sections of the KS 4.2. Um, before we finish though, I do want to demonstrate how easy it is to change the vibe of the sound that you have. So right now we have something that's kind of mysterious, you know, kind of chill. Um, but if I want something that's like faster or harsher, I just need to turn the clock up a bit, change the mode, four steps maybe, or five. I'll change this, so it's just staccato. 
Here we go. And you can see, now I have my faster, harsher sort of notes. Right? A completely different feel from what we were going for last time, but it's important to note that it still is going through the same sequence. So it's the same note, so it does sound somewhat similar to what we had before, which is very cool uh, when you're performing live and when you're making different sorts of songs, because it's still consistent in the sequence, in the pitch, it's just how it's being played that changes, which is really cool. Uh, next, if I want something slower and calmer, I can slow the clock down, change the timbre to more of a sine wave, slow both of the LFOs down, listen to that, I don't know what it is that's, there we go, maybe add some release, I'll change the mode, maybe just make it Ionian or major, right? Yeah, you can see, G major, change the root to D sharp major, perfect. So you can see here is my slower, calmer music. We'll do one more, maybe I want to go back to something chill, something kind of upbeat. So I'll just take that up, it's like a kind of saw wave maybe. this up. Here we go. Now it has something that's kind of chill again. I'll take the release down a bit. Maybe add this again. There we go. Perfect. So, there you go, there is your product demonstration of the Chaos 4.2 from LAC Synths. Uh, just this, just so you know, this isn't actually coming out in hardware, because I don't have, like, a company, I don't really have money, I don't really know anything about, like, engineering or whatever you would need, um, this is kind of a joke, but I think it's really cool, um, you can download this patch completely for free, uh, it's super easy, I have a clip that I'll play here. You can see I'm on a completely new account. I just open up the file, it tells me that I'm missing some modules, and then I can go to the VCV Rack page, my account, just add all of them, and then go back, reopen it, and everything will be there, ready to do. So you can do that, it's completely for free, there's a link in the description. Um, if you make anything cool, any cool sounds, just upload it, let me know somehow. Um, I think if you put like, at Acorn Croissant, in the title or something, it'll I'll be able to see it on my uh, channel. If you like, if you go into the wiring and change anything, please share that with me too. It's very cool. Um, but with that being said, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, like, subscribe, comment, all that, so we can grow the channel. Maybe it will come out in hardware someday. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.